Oh, it's windy as balls. Hopefully you he can hear me. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Crime Page by Bonnet, doesn't it? Today we's coming to you from the western edge of the country of uh, the Dominican Republic, La Republica Dominica, right near the Haitian border. We're about five miles from the Haitian border, and uh, we're just the east of the town of Paternales, and maybe a mile north of the ocean. And the reason we're here today is I wanted to show you an endemic species in the genus Melocactus. Now, Melocactus is known for having the little fez hat. The little uh, cephalium is the technical term for it. This is Melocactus paternalensis. You can see it's a big bastard. You get uh, you get like two or three species of Melocactus on, uh, on the island of Hispaniola. Okay, east of here you got uh, Melocactus lamerii. Uh, this one is quite a bit bigger. You can see this one's got a little fruit on there too. So as you can see here now, the apical cephalium, as I was telling you about, is basically a, a way to maximize flowering, okay, without having to produce new stem. Uh, most plants can only produce one flower per axillary bud. Cacti are the same, okay? So every axillary bud, there might be one or two inside that aerial, but either way, it can only flower uh, once, once or twice maybe from each aerial, okay? So if it wants to produce more flowers, uh, it's got to create new stem. And of course, it's a hard thing to do when you're growing in a hot, arid climate where uh, you may not always be able to produce new stem. Milo cactus have gotten around this by producing this apical cephalium, a cephalium at the apex. And it's basically a whole bunch of uh, axillary buds, flowering buds, all grouped together in one little fez-like structure. You can see it right there. Just a dense cluster of spines. No chlorophyll. No stomata. This, uh, this structure is strictly for flowering, strictly for banging. You can see it's pushing that fruit up right there. No flowers at the moment. Who knows how old these plants are? Probably quite a few decades. You can see you got your Stenocerus fimbriatus over there. Whole shit ton of legumes. Now the sad fact about these plants is that they're getting poached hard. There's areas where you can find them just chopped up dug up out of the ground, chopped up. They sell them on the roadside stands here, actually. You can buy them for two bucks. Now, the sad fact about Milo cactus, not just this species, but all the species on the island, is that they're getting hit hard by poaching. But it's not what you would think. It's not the typical, uh, you know, poached for the horticultural trade. They're getting hit because it's believed that they're uh, good for your kidneys. They're a diuretic. They help get rid of kidney stones. Uh, of course, the science, uh, once this was looked into, actually proves that uh, they're not that good for kidney stones. They've got uh, oxalate crystals in them. They actually help cause kidney stones. But, uh, you know, whatever you got to do to make a buck, I guess. Another, uh, you know, another uh, symptom of poverty. Destruction of the natural environment. Another reason you want to bring people up out of it so they don't have to do shit like this. Go ripping rare cacti out of the ground to sell in a roadside stand. Now, I guess the Minister of the Environment for the country has been cracking down on it a little bit. Uh, you know, a year ago it was much more prolific, but it's still bad enough. I mean, I went by some stalls just right off the side of the road where they just had, you know, buckets of these things dug up. Here's your invasive uh, calico. Beautiful, but uh, a pain in the ass as well. These are invasive in South Texas too. South Texas and Mexico. Uh, look, here's one. Here's one that got, I can't tell if it was dug up or if it just got knocked over. Big guy. We're going to try to put him back in. A there we go. Look, put him back in the ground, threw some rocks around him. It's not perfect, but it's uh, better than nothing. Looks like, see all that is, all that uh, debris is piled up there. Looks like uh, you might have had some sort of uh, oceanic influx. Some, uh, some water. God, look at how big these are. These are fucking massive. Some of these. Look at that. This guy's flowering right there. God, this area is kind of destroyed. You know, anywhere people go, uh, shit just gets wrecked. I think that's just a general, just a general rule. Look at that. Got all the trichomes up top. This guy's got a big fez. Just like the Shriners. That cactus probably weighs, I don't know, the other one felt like 20, 30 pounds. The one I just uh, replanted after it got knocked over. 
So again, you see these on the side of the road for sale, just sold in a little styles, just buckets of them, you know. How long until there's no more? I don't know, we'll see. But this one, of course, uh, is only known from the area around Pedernales. Look at it, multiple flowers, all protected, all hidden, all hidden and protected, and that's a failure. And then once it's time to do their thing, they swell up and get pushed out. Just like that guy said, so they can get pollinated. And the ovary, the deeply inferior ovary, were, you know, matures down there in the cephalium as well, protected by all the spines and trichomes. And then uh, when, you know, once it's mature, it swells up and gets pushed out and, uh, and presuma, presumably dispersed by birds. You got to get a cephalium. If you're a cactus, you want to maximize the efficiency of flowering, get yourself a cephalium or evolve one. Who knows how many thousands of years how many millions of years, excuse me, it took to evolve this. Looks like this species of Stenocerus actually was upright and then blew over. And then these are all the same individual, just the axillary buds branching, sending out new shoots. Couple of young ones, no cephalium yet, they're still juveniles. It really is windy. Really helps the trash blow around. Look at all that cylindro punch of Caribia. Ooh. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Looks like someone uh, sliced one up. Sliced it up to move it. There's another one. Easier to carry or put in your satchel if you slice the spines off. Look. You so oh yeah, there you go. Boy, that's great. Good job, guys. Left the cephalium. It's all just cut the shit. This guy's still flowering. You know, a lot of shit just doesn't have a... <laughs> the more people we get on this earth, the less of a chance everything else has. But look at that, though. Let's not get too dark right now, huh? I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm, do I'm doing it for you. Ugh. Anyway... Look at those, though. Those guys are going off. Old guys. Grandpas. Humanity's a King Midas shit touch. Everything we touch seems to turn to shit. Doesn't have to be that way, but, uh, you know, it's just our societal values kind of make it that way. God, they really just went to town. This guy got uprooted. I'll try and put him back. Look at us, look at us. It looks like the cover of that dead Kennedy's album with all the Shriners on it, you know, with their fezzes and whatnot. You guys are doing good, you're doing good. I just came by to tell you you're doing good. If you see any fucking uh, simians walking around, just that, uh, well, I guess you can, there's not much you can do, you just kind of fuck, but uh, just know that at least uh, one of them, probably quite a few of them really admire you and uh, think you're doing a good job and I uh, want you to hang in there, okay? Look at this, look, something, something's moving them around. See how these guys are almost uprooted? I mean, cacti roots don't go, cactus roots don't go too uh, deep anyway, of course, but I wonder if this is a livestock or something, or I wonder what's going on. I can't get over how big these are, though. The other Milo cactus, uh, Lemerii on the island, does not get this big. A nice money shot at it, it's a failure. Stop putting my knee in at the cylindro punch of... Oh yeah, there you go. Little woolly fez. Betalane pigments obvious in those spines. God damn, look at those. Look at all these guys. See, so they, they don't they don't start producing their uh, cephalium till later on in life. See, this one's still a juvenile. No cephalium yet hasn't flowered yet. And then once they produce that cephalium, that's it. They can't produce any more stem unless that thing gets cut off. You got the limestone, limestone cobbles, and then this kind of a uh, and it's sand. Kind of reminds me of South Texas, like sandy clay. Probably turns very muddy 
when it's wet. Like a sponge. So yeah, once they start producing that cephalium, they can't produce any more stem. That's it, they're set. And they're just gonna spend the rest of their life flowering. You get old, you retire, you spend the rest of your life banging. Uh, with the aid of uh, bees and flies, of course. Oh, see, there's, there's more of them getting hacked up. You know, they could be feeding them to livestock, too. It's not necessarily for the dong or for the, uh, the kidney stones. Maybe they're feeding them, uh, feeding them to cows. It's kind of even more insulting. You know, how do you, how do you, uh, get people to start giving a shit about this kind of, I don't know. It's like, you know, a lot of fucking, a lot of meatheads in various cultures too think it's, uh, you know, it's not a macho thing to give a shit about plants. I mean, we're so fucked up as a species. We're so fucking in the woods. We're so lost in the woods. Got no idea what we're doing here. All right, let's keep, uh, let's keep walking. This shit for brains ideas about uh, masculinity. You don't even get me started. Holy fuck. Encounter a lot of that. You know, if we were gonna be like chimps or bonobos, why couldn't we have been like bonobos? Why do we have to be like chimps? You know, warring psycho assholes. Why couldn't we just be, uh, you know, just lay around, eat fruit and bang a lot? I don't know, genetic luck of the draw, I guess. Oh, look at a consolia up there. That does taste nice, it tastes nice in your mouth. Oh no, that's not consolia, that's harissia. Just poking up like little green dangs. Look at that, look, that's that's the cloud forest. That's where I was earlier today. The drive down was fucking depressing though. Just, just tons of forest clearance. Tons of forest clearance, tons of poverty. Shitty, uh, shitty avocado orchards and then below that, uh, Shitty banana orchards. I mean, in the national park, too. And it was supposed to be a national park. Just the... You know, humanity's really got to figure its shit out quick. <laughs> There's not going to be... We're going to create one hell of a world here. Am I getting too dark? Huh? Yeah, you'll be all right. A little darkness is good for you. Keep you on your toes. You want that forced positivity, that contrived positivity, that uh, California-style shit? That drives people crazy. If you bullshit yourself about the harsh reality, well, if you if you immerse yourself too much in a harsh reality, you'll go crazy too. But if you bullshit yourself, you'll certainly go crazy. That's what all those uh, 1950s housewives did. Just smile and nod. But that guy's beautiful though, isn't he? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Wish I had a fez like that. I like your fez. So look, look at this guy. Look, this guy's got a fruit too. Like a little pink chili pepper. Just waiting to get picked up by a bird, then shat out. Those seeds just lay in wait. God knows how long till you get a decent rain. More of that fruit. We'll pick this guy. We'll go plant the seeds over here. I don't see too many over here. Could probably use some. Someone's been making these trails too. Looks like it might be a. Uh, looks like it might be some kind of livestock. You think I should plant them under a uh, shrub? Most cacti need like a nurse shrub. Maybe I'll just yeah, I'll do it here. Why not? Let's see what that looks like. Gives me a chance to show you what those seeds look like inside too. Juicy. That's yeah, good enough. See tiny little black poppy seeds. Okay, probably be a year or two before he germinates, but uh Okay, best of best of luck to you, sir. I've actually, you know, driven by probably like two hours northeast here. It was a different species, but they got the roadside stalls where they're just selling these 
you know, just bushels of them ripped out the ground entire. They didn't rip the spines off. They're selling them for like 200 Dominican pesos, which is maybe it's like four or five bucks. You know, now the Ministry of the Environment uh, recently put a stop to it. I believe he, uh, you know, cited them for it. But you could still find, you could still find people doing it, you know. They don't give a shit. So, and, uh, you know, because of that, I mean, obviously it's for the market. People need money. People got to feed their families. But there's other ways to do it without destroying your home, without shitting where you eat. You know, so a friend of mine actually works for a conservation organization here. And, you know, they started a program where they're trying to get people to uh, just grow dragon fruit instead. Okay, another, another uh, cactus species that would do well in this environment. You just, you know, need a little bit of irrigation every now and then. Set up a trellis for them. You could sell those fruits, you know, for uh, the same price you'd sell one of these whole plants. It is a shame. All right, well, I think that's all I got for you right now. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Got to go drink some of that uh, electrolyte fluid. I think I, uh, I think I pissed out all my salts. Dust is blowing around with the shit. What a beautiful plant, though, huh? I sure hope, uh, sure hope it's got some time left. Hope this is one of the places I come back to in, uh, you know, 10, 15 years and it's still here. But with, uh, with shit like this, maybe not. Just sliced right off. Fucking shame. Catch myself saying that a lot. All right, well, that's all I got for you today. Uh, have a good rest of the evening. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Oh, there's nothing I like more than the smell of burning trash. Oh, yeah, the plastic particles. It smells like burning trash. Look at that. You got glasses, tin cans. Lots of uh, bottles of alcohol. Beautiful. All the karstic limestone. Consolia seedlings germinating. The giant opuntoid. As you can see over there. Of course, they get a lot bigger than that, though. Oh, yeah, more hacked Milo cactus. Looks like a species of coca loba. Hard to believe that's in the buckwheat family, huh? Eh? See the dimpling? See the, see the dimpling from that calcium carbonate reacting with the acidic rainwater? Karstic, it's so karstic. That little Milo cactus seedling. The fuck is he crawling out of? There's barely any. Uh, so well, you don't need soil. He's a cactus. He's got all his moisture stored in that little, uh, that little stem right there. Those consolia, man. Then of course, when they get big, they got that weird. Uh, looks like the Hulk with HPV texture. See, this one's starting to get it. Better stem, and they lose their their thorns. They lose their spines. Which is probably an adaptation to a coevolution with large herbivores, which are now extinct. I believe they were alive on a Caribbean islands longer than they were anywhere else. They lasted up until like five or six thousand years ago. But then, when uh, you know the Taino got here, or the ancestors of, of the Taino, once basically once humans arrived, they wiped out all the uh, they wiped out all the megafauna. These guys are young. Back by that uh, freshwater lake inland. These get upwards of 20 feet tall. Here's the flowers. You know, don't don't watch this show if you're looking to feel good about people. <laughs> it's, this is a this is what you call a constructive uh, channel. It, it uh, accentuates the areas in which Homo sapiens uh, have room for improvement. Okay, we got enough we got enough people telling us how good we're doing. I'm gonna take a different stance. Tell us how bad we're doing. How badly we're fucking things up, and then maybe, uh, maybe we'll get some, uh, 
some people who, who decide to change things, you know, a little bit. You know, alter a worldview, because that's what you need. You know, your laws aren't going to do it. You need a fucking paradigm shift. Get rid of that uh, anthropocentrism. Because we're just a fucking ape like all the others. All right. No, really now, that's all I got for you now. All right, go fuck yourself. Bye. Look at that. Growing in the shade of this uh, mesquite, you got this harissia. Look at that. These are normally scandent on other plants, but, uh, you know, sometimes they get big enough to be able to stand up on their own. I don't think this is the varicata. I've seen harissia the varicata, you know, east of here on the island. It's a much more narrow plant. Clambers up other plants. This is, uh, this guy's uh, coalescent. He's standing all on his own. Look at that. No clambering. Hey, did you get up? Look at those uh, ribs. Caribbean cactus diversity. How about that? Look at that. Caustic limestone right on the ocean. You got your Consolia monelliformis up there. A tree prickly pear. Stenocereus fimbriatus. Where'd you get the iguanas down here too? I don't know. I think they're I think they're on the other side. Could be here. Look at them. You could just see them just all lined up on a cliff. Look at this coalescent bastard over here. Look at that. Say coalescent. You know, I haven't fucking eaten. I don't mean coalescent, I mean, you know, kind of kind of a caudiciform trunk. You know, I haven't eaten. I've just been going at it all day. All day. No fucking coffee. First day I haven't had coffee in a long time. So, so impossibly long. Look at this guy. It's an actual uh, Opunto. Uh, you know, Puncha, that's not a Consolia. And isn't Opuncha Tayloray. Beautiful yellow flower on her. Look at that limestone. Just reacting with the uh, acidic rain. I really, you know, I really got to eat, so I got to have like a day of rest or something tomorrow. Incredible habitat. Look at this. Look at a karst. Look at a trash. Look at that. See? They stopped producing, they stopped producing as many spines higher up. Look at that beautiful karst. Calcium carbonate and, uh, Rainwater with carbonic acid in it are the reason that you got these going on. I love that consolia. Your Steno series. And this this limestone is, is like the texture of sandpaper.